In this video, we are going to talk about the Strowman technique. So the idea of a Strowman is to slightly distort the argument of your adversary to make it easier to criticize. Uh, not, sometimes not so slightly, by the way. So the global structure is the following. First, the person one makes claim Y. And then the second, the adversary comes and restates uh, the, this affirmation, this claim, and distorts it a little. We are going to call it Y prime. And while do, doing that, after distorting it, he is going to attack, or he or she is going to attack the distorted af affirmation uh, Y prime, and uh, the, the initial affirmation Y is going to appear to be false. So that would be the general structure of a strawman. Let me give you an example with Trump, especially it, it happened during the deb uh, debate in 2016 on immigration. So basically, Trump attacked Clinton on the issue of open borders because she had used those words in a speech uh, a few days uh, before the debate. And Trump uh, tried to underpin uh, the dangers of open borders in a time of terrorism. So the thing is, when, she, when Clinton had uh, given this talk and used the words open borders, she was not referring at all uh, to uh, immigration. She was talking with a Brazilian bank and she was talking about bo open borders in the case of trade and energy and not at all in the case of um, immigration. And the fact that she, she did this mistake cost her, be, uh, those words cost her uh, extremely, uh, had a very important political cost because it was very easy, easy for Trump to use that and to uh, amplify and distort uh, uh, arguments. And it's probably not this that made him win in 2016, but this kind of uh, fallacious uh, refutation and strawman probably contributed to his success.